So I think it's worth spending a little bit of time going over the basics of Maven, how it works, what it's actually doing in the background. Because what we've seen is that all I have to do is put a dependency in the palm and as if by magic, all the stuff that I need to happen is there. So how, how is this doing? We're not going to do this in, in detail, but at the most basic level, what is going on? We've already seen the home page for Maven. This is where you'll learn about Maven. This is where the documentation is. You should read all this stuff to see what's going on. Now, what we haven't seen is the central repository. Okay, so maven.org is a central host for things that are published into Maven. So if I do a search here for JUnit, because we've used JUnit, you can see JUnit, latest version 4.10. And we can actually download the jar. If I want to, I don't have to bring it in through Maven. I could, if I'm using Ant, just download the particular jar that I want, or the Javadoc, or the sources, whatever else. But you can see here that Maven when it does its work, knows to download the jar. And when we zoom into it, I haven't shown you this yet, but when we zoom into it and say, get the sources for me, it downloads the sources jar for us. So you can see we have JUnit. There's JUnit with its dependencies. Here's all 18 versions of JUnit. So in Maven, I could choose 4.3. I could change my palm to download 4.3. It would come here and download 4.3. And where does it download it to? Well, in my on my Windows box in my user directory, there's a .m2 folder. This is my local Maven repository. And look in here, you see a whole bunch of stuff because I use a whole bunch of stuff in different projects that I'm using. But there's JUnit. And I have version 4.10, 4.8.2, which you saw on the slides earlier on. This is where all the different versions are stored. Selenium will be in here at the different versions of WebDriver. Org. Dot. Selenium HQ, Selenium. All the different drivers, all different versions, all different things that we've been using. And there's 2.25. So what's going on at its most basic level is we have a local repository. This is where Maven will first of all look to see whether the dependencies exist. If the dependencies do not exist here, then Maven will go off to the other repositories that you've defined in your, in your Maven setup. Now I have not defined a Maven properties file in here. So by default, it's going off to the central repository and pulling stuff down from there. I have not set up Nexus or any other local repository to cache this stuff for me. So I basically have a local repository in the file system that Maven is pulling down to and the central repository that other people are publishing to. So that in a nutshell is how Maven is working.